Hello and welcome to the next episode of Resident Evil 3 Remake. Uh, last time we got through that awkward maze and we chased Nikolai up here. Okay, so let's start that. Now we've got quite a good few magnum rounds, so we should be alright. Oh wait, I forgot to press the button. Unfinished activity log. One o'clock, infiltrate RC. Disturbance is sporadic. Commence mission. Observe five RPD officers engaging APAC. 20 strong officers annihilated in 20 minutes. One officer a minute by that. Test run at university. Diverted pack. Incel canines to campus. 64% infection and conversion in two hours, no survivors. Successful rendezvous with MV Puptoon will make first attempt at dawn. A diverted pack towards command post results night skirmish in confined area with large numbers of combatants, video attached. End of skirmish, seven survivors. Six o'clock, unknown bioweapon deployed at point D18. Tracking it per order, it appears to be on the hunt. Got eyes on two stars, a male infected and a female bio weapon is pursuing the female. A female JV has made contact with MV Platoon. Bioweapon appearance and behaviour are consistent with Project N investigation. Observe bioweapon wielding conventional weapons. It seems to be strongly fixated on terminating. JV and knows the city's layout evidence it can be imprinted. Metamorphosis in bioweapon triggered by a hostile account with JV. Video attached. JV has been infected and is non-responsive. Collect samples per order. Over 17 hours has elapsed since JV's exposure to virus. Conversations has been slow, sluggish, she may be resistant. Vaccine recovered and administered to JV by CO, a soldier in MV's platoon. JV expected to be fit for combat approximately 20 hours post exposure. It seems clear the bioweapon in Project 10 contact with JV causes it to change and evolve, will induce further encounters to obtain more precise data. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. They'll call off the strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. All right, let's move out. We'll find the vaccine up ahead. Sure you don't need to stop? Stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Nemesis. Keep going. We're almost there. No. Go. Oh. Oh, and that's the end of Tyrell. Ooh, that was a close one.
And we found the save room. Uh, I'm sure I had another tub of that. Um, there we go. Let's put that away now. <laughs> Start that for now. Start that for now. Okay, we've got a note here. Nest 2 employees regulations. Um, attention Nest 2 employees. The object of this T-Virus research facility differs from those of Umbrella's main Nest facility. Here we focus on real world uses, cases which are arised as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it's imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry to unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. And we've also got a map of the area. You're not gonna attack me yet, nope. Not yet. You look suspicious. I was right. Ah, oh, get off me. These zombies move far too fast. Bit more handgun hammer. Uh, uh, the handgun's gonna become obsolete very shortly. Ah, some more high grade gunpowder, that'll come in handy when we'll make another one of our... Um, Magnum rounds. Yep, uh, that's what we're concentrating on making now, Magnum bullets. The best bullets. Right. Vaccine synthesis. Place the materials in the chamber. We don't have the materials. I have to make it myself. Ah, 
Essay on Vaccine Synthesis. On the roles of antigens and adjuvants in vaccine synthesis, Dr. Nathaniel Bard, Chief Researcher, Spencer Memorial Hospital. To the most efficient synthesize a vaccine, both an antigen and adjuvant are required. The antigen produces an immune response, while the adjuvant increases the effects of such response, leading to an increase in antibody production by combining samples of those two ingredients. One can create a protein vaccine base. By proceeding this vaccine base with our properties equipment, a large batch of vaccine can be created with astonishing ease. What's more, my latest antigen and adjuvant samples yield unprecedented rates of antibody production, producing more than 1,000 times the yield of traditional materials. This not only makes it an effective vaccine, but also a potential way to eliminate existing infections. So uh, it's uh, basically made a super vaccine. I don't trust these bodies. Nah, no, dead. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. A flash drive. Right, we can't pick it up just yet. We're full on items. Great. Ah, uh, yeah. If if you guys want to see some other fun Resident Evil uh, let's plays, um, check out Jimmy Fails uh, Revelation Let's Play. It's quite fun and uh, also Ty's 1000 subscriber let's play um, where he's doing the game with the base weapons. Only ones you can find are allowed uh, and you can't upgrade them so that's gonna give him a bit of a struggle so check him out and watch. And you can laugh at him like everyone else. <laughs> okay um, let's see. Crafting companion. Where's that high grade one powder gun? Oh. That's strange, it won't let me combine it. Uh. Alright, let's uh, get them flame rounds. That, well, that flame round. Alright, let's go back and pick up that USB stick. Oof. I'm always overloading myself on items. Right, uh, we'll have to make our way around. Anything else in here I've missed? Uh, uh, might be some that we can't pick up just yet. Right, so uh, where we want to go is down here. Uh, there was a door, I believe, we couldn't open. Uh, we should be able to with that USB.
override complete. Another fat shipping notes. Uh, cargo nemesis shipping route CDJ JFK RC shipment date September 1st 1998 shipment type class 1 hazardous material additional notes all transit within the United States is to be made via helicopter take extreme care during takeoff and landings as shock to the parcel may potentially lead to self-activation we here at the European branch are excited to hear your thoughts and evaluations on this newest prototype and are pleased to offer this specimen to you for testing. It has been thoroughly numerous trials and possesses incredible durability power so please exercise extreme caution when using it. Lead developer Dr. Herman Frank. Uh, these things are pain to kill. Ah, where did he come from? Get off me! Ah! No, 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 no! Ah! Damn it! Ugh. That the lowest plant. Um. Oof. That that was bad. Oof. Very bad. You know what? I'm not messing about with these guys this time. Do I? Ah, you're kidding me. That's a bad checkpoint. <laughs> ah, I'm not missing that now. Just quickly, 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 quickly. Right, we've already read that. Um, messing about reading it again. Okay, uh, let's see what... Uh, do I have any more gunpowder to mix with that? Ah, yes. Uh, 
Right, um, we should be all right now. Oh, come on. Uh, where did you come from? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the Magnum should come shot those uh, annoying guys. I think there's one more around here somewhere. Yes, there is. Oof, a magnum blew a hole clean through him. <laughs> yeah, some more shot, shot his rounds. Uh, some more explosive powder. They'll come in handy. Right, let's uh, check upstairs first. Okay, so we're going to see what's up here. Uh, Capcom's really obsessed with these robot arms. They've been in a few Resident Evil games now. Oh, an antigen sample. I'll definitely need this for the battle. I don't know why the game still wants to give me handgun bullets at this point. Oh well. Suppose if you haven't got out. Anything back in? Nope. There's another one of those uh, regenerator monsters. A scientist dying message. It happened at worst case scenario, the T virus somehow leaked. Under orders from Dr. Bard, I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. Now prepared a culture of the T virus antigen, now I just need to combine it with the adjutant to embrace its effects. I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens. The average antigens are stored in the incubation lab, the test subjects are already wandering the holes but I better find a way to get some samples well the culture is maturing if I don't make it back please complete the synthesis process try to find a way to stop this outbreak it's the last we can do after setting these horrifying events in motion I'll get some acid rounds there, that's pretty nice. Gotta reactivate the power. This must be what powers it. Yeah. 
Yep, uh, this is teaching you something for later. Make it through here. Want a storage? Oh look, tyrant storage. These are tyrants. A uh, lot of nasty Jesus. crap in here. Is this where they're made? Ugh. Yeah, this is a nasty place. things. It's still in there. Oh wait, it is. That's good. Hello, oh, it's Mega Man. Expressions of concern. Eh. Senior fellow Dr. Frankel, please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at Umbrella Yoke for completing Nemesis. A truly remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapons research, introducing a parasite organism into a tyrant's brain to gain external control of it. How can I not marvel at such a wild idea? However, from a medical perspective, I must emphatically state my disapproval of the shift away from established umbrella policy. By turning to the use of parasites, you are setting a dangerous precedent. Viruses can be kept in check, I believe an effective vaccine can be developed for any virus on Earth with abundant funding and a bounty of samples, of course. Can you say the same for parasites? However, Doctor, I've tried in vain to develop a vaccine for malaria. Parasites like Plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T-virus and to think that they will submit to control is utter folly. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy Automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they're no better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already diversed a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the naysayers. I look forward to talks with you at the forum in Berlin next month. In the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this uberistic problem you've fostered on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bard, PhD. Hello, goodbye. She just wanted a hug. I'm gonna have to. Else in here. Ah, gunpowder. We've got no room for it. Alright, let's get out of here. Time are we on? Uh, 30 minutes. Uh, we're gonna have to call it an episode shortly. Ah, 
Damn, hunters! That one fair game. That one fair. Oof. Them hunters are dangerous. Ah, oh, good job, mate. Uh... Oof. I, I'm going to call it an episode here, so I'll catch you all next time. I'm, I'm going to make my way back to the save room. I'll do all that again off screen. So we'll be back to where it was. Have a good day, everyone.